Hello everybody and thank you for watching another episode of CN Tech Pro. My name is Nicholas. I wanted to kick off a new series today. We're going to talk about uh, a how a router works and what it needs to do in order to function correctly. Also, please check out our website or check out our Instagram at CN Tech Pro or at www.cntechpro.blogspot.com. Without further ado, let's dive right in and take a look at just what we need to do in order to configure a router and what it means in order to get a router set up. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so I've booted up uh, my computer here, um, as you can see. Um, Let's check to make sure that we're getting an address. So we're going to bring up command prompt here, IP config. We are getting an address, and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. So we're going to open up Internet Explorer here, and we're going to type that in right here. I was going to do this with a Netgear router, but seeing as how I'm going to be focusing mainly on Ubiquity during this series, I'm going to show it to you immediately. So, as you can see, there's, it looks very complicated at first, but you guys will get used to it. Um, so, basically, if we click here, this is one of the main functions of a router, and it helps um, this, uh, get onto a network immediately without having to confirm that a person should be on the network and give them address. And um, it, it'd be too hectic, you know, when you just want your friend to get the Wi-Fi really quick, or whatever it may be. So, um, if you set up a DHCP server, it'll allow it'll allow um, It'll give you the ability to automatically assign addresses that sign on to the network via Wi-Fi or just plug in uh, to the router or switch or whatever is on the network. Um, and it gives you, you know, a wide range of options. You can set it for, mul you can have multiple networks coming off switches and it gets really crazy. Um, but this is a very handy feature. Um, you know, this the subnet. So it's 192.168.1.0. Dash 24 means that it's on a 255.255.255.0 subnet. Okay, so um, the dash 24, all that means is that it's that subnet. All right. And, um, you know, if we'll, we'll go over subnetting in a different uh, tutorial, but just to, you know, give you guys, a, to show you guys how, what this all means, I'll, I'll get more in depth, don't worry, guys. So, um, the default router is going to be uh, 192.168.1.1, we saw that right here. There it is. And as you can see, there haven't been too many people on the network, I got a 29. And it starts at 21. So, um, it's a very cool feature. You can see the leases. You can see everything, everyone that's been on it. Um, and also you can set stat static via their MAC address. So if I want to um, get the ID, so you'd call it, you know, this is my house. Oops, can't type here, guys. Workstation. And then you give the MAC address and um, the IP address of it, and it'll save it so that it'll never change the IP address. That'll be more happy. So I don't want to do that right now, but that's a very cool feature. Um, another thing you guys are definitely going to need is you're going to need to configure DNSs. Um, this is DNS forwarding, so. I set a system DNS, you can see, I believe it's in here. Um, no. 
I said a system DNS somewhere in here. I think it's in one of these. But anyways, I said a system DNS. So the I set it to Google's DNS 8.8.8.8, and now whatever interface I tell this to look on, it's gonna forward that DNS to that interface. So it's a very cool, useful feature. Um, that way you don't have to set the DNS for every interface or or every VLAN. Um, you just have to set it for the system itself and forward it to the, whatever interface you want to put it to. Um, let's take a look at routing. And as you can see, we have um, this one, which um, that's just the masquerade, I believe. And then this is um, 192.168.1.0-24. This is our DHCP server. So we can add another one. Yeah, we'll make it a gateway. Alright, we won't talk about that right now. That's too in depth, and we don't have enough time right now. Um, you're going to need to be familiar with firewall, firewall rules, and also NAT rules. As you can see, we have masquerade. Um, that's a useful feature as well. Um, port forwarding, you'll be able to forward ports and go crazy on it. I use a port forwarding a lot, especially if you have um, camera systems and you want to view it on an app um, from your phone from wherever you're at you can use the port forwarding here and since Ethernet 1 is my WAN interface I can say my camera system is on Ethernet 0 we can apply that now we will be able to create a port forwarding rule for it so it'll make sure that the camera system is viewable outside the network very useful feature um, we got some other stuff here too. You can add firewall groups. Um, VPNs will definitely be going over VPNs, but that's not something we're going to work on right now. Uh, QoS, um, Smart Queue Management. It's quality of service is what QoS stands for. Um, and basically, it limits everyone's traffic to. It limits everyone's traffic a little bit so that everyone gets a much smoother um, experience rather than one person hogging all the data. Um, you can create multiple users, remote users. Um, let's look at this. This is the config tree. This is, it looks confusing. And honestly, guys, I don't even use it. We're not going to be using it while we're here. I'm not going to be going over this because we're going to be going a lot more in depth than what this has to offer. So. Um, another useful, really useful feature is the wizard. Now, if you're not up to the newest version, um, or one of the newest versions, um, let's see what version we're on. Alright, then I guess we'll, we'll, I'll show you a little bit of command line while we're here. Um, let's see, I believe it's version. Show. Yeah, show version. Oops, can't spell. See, so as you can see, I'm on build 1.9.0. When I had gotten this, ER, we're using an edge light, edge router light. Um, we were on version 1.2.0, and there. Will, there wasn't even port forwarding rules, there was not, um, the, the wizard page wasn't here, the config tree wasn't here, QoS wasn't here, I mean a lot of stuff was missing guys, you gotta make sure that your um, Edge Max or, or whatever router you're on is on the latest version of the operating system, it gives you a lot of good features. Um, this is very cool, it just shows you a little graph um, of the traffic, this is the transmit, this is the receive, um, and as you can see at the zero is the only one running right now because that's what my computer is connected to. Um, this guy will give you alerts, very useful as well. Um, cool guys, well I think that about does it for showing you just the basics. Um, we're going to dive in on the next 
video and show you guys a lot more um, how to configure this stuff and how to set it up. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.